from Massachusetts. Mr. Speaker, we have passed from creationism to fantasy. Um, it's interesting. The gentleman from Texas, uh, Mr. Gomert, was very critical, in fact, of the actions of the Republican leader. He said we beg people not to vote for the TARP. The Republican leader in the House last fall worked very hard to get it passed. So did the other members of his leadership. And now uh, he's being denounced for that. So I guess he broke even on his side, which these days, if you're in the minority, may be a pretty good day. But the fact is this. The gentleman of New Jersey says, well, the Democrats were in the majority. Oh, he said the Democrat majority. Pardon me for not uh, getting his, his uh, inflection absolute. Yes, the President of the United States, George Bush, came and asked us to do this, and his two top economic advisors said, if you don't do it, there'll be a crisis. But in fact, that's not directly relevant to the AIJ issue. AIG was granted money, and by the way, the gentleman of New Jersey again mistakes the relevant statute. The statute that we are referring to, that the General Texas referred to, is not the original one creating the Federal Reserve. It's the 1932 statute that gave them the power to lend money as they wish, signed by another great Republican president, Herbert Hoover. But the point is that it was the Republican administration that said we had to do this. Yes, there was cooperation. The Republican leadership in the House, a majority in the Senate, believing that there would have been a terrible problem if it wasn't there. I do want to reiterate that I am now pleased as chairman of the Financial Services Committee that there is this interest on the Republican side in restricting compensation. It has not previously been a strong part of their argument. However, we will return to the subject of this resolution. The resolution isn't binding, but it is the forerunner of what will be binding. The Committee on Financial Services will vote next week on binding legislation and it will bring it to the floor the week after, which will embody much of this and it will include an effort to deal with this retroactively. There will be legal questions raised, but the fact is that we will have binding legislation to embody this. This is an important statement. I would say this in closing, Mr. Speaker. We have people now at AIG deciding whether or not they're going to give the money back. The more they give us back, the better we'll be. It won't be totally conclusive, but to defeat this resolution because it says nice things about President Obama would be a grave error. expired. question is,